our beautiful home in Eagle Nest community. It's an airport community because Corbin is a pilot. So he had to have a hangar for his airplane. The home is lovely and I have the most amazing swimming pool. Indeed, and it's been a long time coming before we can actually even consider moving into it. So we are very excited to get going. Also, it let me know I'm, I'm new to videotaping, so you'll just have to bear with me. Now we're, we're able to receive this amazing Oriental furniture from the previous owners. Which took her a lot of convincing to keep. It's not my style, but it's I'm warming up to it. Yeah. We even got some katanas. Got amazing black tie. But what is one of my favorite features that we have added is the curtains. Look how tall they are. Yes, very tall curtains, great view, and there's rolly shades on. I can show you. There's rolly shades on every window that you can assess access. Right, so you can see those. So they'll, up there I can close the window. Close like halfway, just to show. But yeah. But the curtains are really. We could have got um, electric, but that's a lot of extra money for something that's just not that convenient. The uniqueness of this house is the curves built in the day. Yes. They, it's uh, architecturally designed house. There's a lot of curves throughout the whole house. Very tall ceilings throughout the whole house. You have those top little windows above every door and window. Just add a lot of natural light to the house. That's why we had to add the rolling shades. There's too much light. Across the kitchen, you can see the top. I'm really glad we added the white ones and not the black ones here. Because the black ones would pop in the uh, house. Yeah. Our designer person uh, here wanted to add black and gold, but we talked her out of it. We wanted, we like white and silver. That's just, everything's better that way. We didn't do every window because some window just wasn't needed. We want to have some constant natural light. This was, it's just us. So this is a, used to be a formal, Living room, but I'm gonna make it into an office. Yeah, they had a, um, a, uh, a tea table, a small tea table here. But this is a perfect place for her office, which is why we added the curtains because she likes to be in the dark if she wants to be. She wants the ability to do that and to be private. There's your curves again. Up there is actually a bathroom upstairs. A curved bathroom. Yeah, that curves everywhere. Fireplace, which we um, we covered up the the vent. Uh, we roofed over it to prevent water leaks. But we don't really use the fireplace anyway. Eventually, we might make electric fireplace there and have like a hidden compartment, but that's another day. And we're here assessing things to see what else we're gonna do. And this is one I don't want to forget. I want to replace that fan. Yes, we replaced two of the fans because of how noisy they were with those beautiful big things. But we didn't do any of the bedrooms, so we want to we want to do that, continue that. So as you scroll through here, you can see that the back side of the house goes in the swimming pool. Then you can go to the left and see that goes to the side of the house. Yep. The, this direction is the garage. There's a, there's nothing that way for miles besides a bunch of them. Um, bulldoze development land that they'll eventually build on. Uh, continuing downstairs, you go down here to the bathroom I want to cease to exist. <laughs> it's a perfect bathroom for everybody else to use so they don't have to go in yours. <clears throat> this is a guest bathroom, that's why it was here. Yeah. But look, it's underneath the stairs, it's small, it makes you feel cramped. It is, Harry Potter bathroom. You have the the big bedroom. So this was two. Four bed designs for me. Yes, this was this was two bedrooms. You can tell by that beam which we kept because we thought it was a good little divider. But this was one small bedroom and one like medium bedroom. And so we tore down the wall. We uh, walled off the door and made it into one big bedroom with two closets. And honestly, it's amazing. 
And check out the curtains again. This is the curtains I love. Eva, we love you. Yep, Eva. E Eva Drapes in Dallas is who did it. Mm -hmm. And, um, yep, so this, it, this room becomes dark. So you will not be woken up by the light. If <laughs> this was a 70s, 80s airport community that had propane. So you'll see all the grass squares we had to replace because the propane tank is literally under the ground. Yeah. And it had been just left. Neglected and damaged and leaks in the pipes and everything else. We had to dig up the yard several times. And of course we didn't know there was a leak in the pipe until after we completely filled up the propane tank. Well, there's no leaks now because my swimming pool is so... Uh, we have a heated pool, that's creative. It's a large bathroom. Nobody's, so we nobody's kept, warmed up to it yet. <laughs> we still don't have a shower curtain. We kept all of the hard floors, all the tile. We changed all of the carpet because I just think if you get a new house, you should always change the carpet. We have more of these little oriental things. Those are um, for the tea table. You sit on them to drink tea. Oh my. Oh yes, there's the tea table. Ah, that is fun. Some more chairs. We're missing two red chairs that just, he knows what happened. This is That was in the kitchen. This is actually Again, a, very tall ceilings. A utility room. Can you imagine a utility room? Yeah, this there? giant bedroom. They, it must have been a bedroom. And then they decided to put a wash and dryer in the closet. And so now it really can't be a bedroom. It's crazy. So I keep trying to move things out of it. <laughs> Work in progress for a little while. Oh yeah. What is super fun is upstairs. Do you have a key to that door? Because you got to see that view from over yeah. there. Yeah. Okay. I think it's unlocked. I left it unlocked. This is our catwalk. And our cat pooping. So this little um, uh, what's plexiglass. it? Plexiglass. Plexiglass. We will probably remove it from the stair part. We we initially wanted it there on that sky bridge because it's a, it's not if, it's when the cats jump on the railing, they'll fall off and that's a, a hard long fall. But this, this prevents you from grabbing onto the railing, which is why. But we'll keep it here for a little while because the guy who did it is a good friend I and mean, I don't. You'll get the gravity in the situation where there's no gravity for the cats when you see the height from, from this, this perspective. Yeah, look how. Look at this. Very far. So there's no way I was going to let my cat fall off there. And of course, that beautiful fan that looks just modern and completely quiet. Check out the curtains. It's like a wave that takes you into the bedroom. It's like a wave. Yep. <laughs> and another wave. This is Corbin's house. You open the windows, it's dark in here. Is that an airplane on here? I think it's my AC. <laughs> you can see the red light in there. Natural light. So I'm thinking maybe a bed there lined up with the fan and the lights looking out. Maybe my computer desk there or there. Now, this morning at 5 a.m., I turned this. Refrigerator on cold, it was on hot. Man, it's not working. Oops. So that will be Yeah, I think it's pulled out. It doesn't open all the way anyway because of the um the door boards. Anyway. Not many things works when we got here. You got some oh a lot of mold, the pool was broken, the yard was ripped up, this house needed a lot of work. But the view from up over here I just want some data plants. One moment. So you have the rock-in closets, and what's cool about these is they added this simple little thing where when the door closes, it'll turn off the light, when it opens, turn on the light, so I thought that was cool. And there's two of those closets. This was a uh, married couple's room, and so one person had one closet, the other one had the other closet. I thought about... Yes, all my collections. I was going to turn this into an office. Costumes. Cosplay. No, no. That's and that's curved bathrooms. Well, I would do it, but the computer runs hot, so. It's windy today, but 
on a calm day you can see all the area around you. And it is still hot. This is like a, it's like a worm hot tub. The whole pool, and it's a deep pool. Yeah. One of the guys left Yeah, they, they're, they're testing the propane heater, and the guy was testing to make sure it was working and left it on. But this is the heater. It's too cold out here without a coat for me. Okay, let's go inside. Come this direction. Oh. Well, you can see the messy garage, but what's unique is that the garage doors are so small you can't oh, get anything yeah, in them. Yeah, all you can get in is a car or motorcycle. <laughs> and in Texas, you have big vehicles. We have a truck and SUV. Now, over there, you can get something in. I think you can probably get jewel in there. I think Alan's right. I don't think you need to bottom. And then there's a bathroom that you didn't see. But this hot water heater goes too off the swimming pool. Yes. It's very dark in here, so they have a hard time seeing it. Shut this so the wind goes through. Yeah, there's a there's a little bathroom pool behind the stairs there. All in all, it's a very unique house. It is. With its own personality and character. And it really needed our tender loving care. And I'm pretty sure that it's gonna turn into an amazing home for us. Thank you for joining us in our very first walkthrough of our beautiful, well, one of our forever homes. We'll probably oh, keep this one for a long time. What are we time. doing? What are we doing today? Yeah, today or with the house. We're right doing now. We've done a lot, so what's left? Oh, we're adding the fans and the heaters to the hangar. We may be... Fans. We may or may not be... Are we putting a heater in the hangar? Just, just a small one that'll just kind of... Move things around. Mm -hmm. Give the fans With the fan, out. right? Uh -huh. okay. <clears throat> in the winter, and then you're gonna make a decision on the floor. Well, I'm not gonna do that too much. Well, there you go, then, you know. So we have, and we're gonna replace some more things. We're almost finished. We're almost ready to move in. Indeed, we're trying to get the internet working, but it's struggling. They, they don't know why, so they're sending a technician later today. And all these appliances are the great kitchen aid, <laughs> and none of them work. So we're gonna have to figure out, you know, we could. Figure out how to get a new dishwasher and stuff. I think the trash compactor still works. Huh? I think the trash compactor still works. Oh, my mercy. That's like one in Oregon. I don't know. It works. You just push the power button. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh, and the lady, the previous owner, loved red. I mean, everything in here is red. You can kind of see can opener, tea, glasses, coffee, vases. Vases, it was red everywhere, including the table. The table and the chairs, and we're missing the two chairs, but we'll figure that out. And what's cool about this table is it actually spins. It's kind of hard to see, but it spins. Although I think we need to put some new seal in because this glass is a little dangerous. And heavy. Very heavy. Glass is heavy. Oh, and we had a little bar I don't think I showed off. I'm wanting to put some 
maybe some bar stools in back here and serve some tea because we don't drink. Oh wow, there's a lot of cables over there. You gotta I something. noticed. Damn. I just forgot. <laughs> I just looked and said, um, yeah. I unsaw it. <laughs> okay, and that's all for now. We'll keep you updated. Indeed. Oh, right. Yeah, so this was probably the official first blog because um, I think we have an interesting life, so we'll, I'll see if I can start trying to record some of it. Adventures. All the adventures. We have some trips we're wanting to go on, so we'll keep you posted. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And with that, Robert, or Corbin, and... Diane. My wonderful, very energetic <laughs> grandmother. Here. <laughs> We do everything together, really. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Says, come join us. <laughs> Bye-bye.